preparatory work for power plant and port facilities under Matarbari Ultra Super Critical Coal Fired Power Project Package 1.1. The project is located at Matarbari and Dholghata Union of Mohish Kaliupazila of Cox's Bazar District. Main item for constructions are dredging of channel for construction equipment mobilization, stockpiling of suitable materials, site office for the employer and the engineer. Bangladesh is a land of natural beauty. Historically, people are famous for friendliness and warm hospitality. It is home to the world's largest river delta and world's largest mangrove. Cox's Bazaar is the longest sea beach in the world. Economy is gradually shifting from agro-based to service industry. To secure stable power supply, a study was conducted by JICA to formulate coal power development master plan. JICA conducted detailed study including the selection of candidate sites. On the basis of JICA study, construction of 1200 megawatt Matarbari ultra super critical coal fired power plant project was conceived. To address environmental safety measures, Matarbari project includes low NOx burner to reduce NOx emission, seawater FGD to reduce SOx emission, electrostatic precipitator to reduce dust and fly ash. Of Matarbari project are construction of jetty and coal handling facilities for coal import and storage, township development, road communication, rural electrification, transmission line and substation, land acquisition and resettlement action plan has been formulated on the basis of JICA guidelines. Land acquisition and resettlement action plan includes entitlement for different types of losses, livelihood restoration and improvement plan, organizational responsibilities and implementation procedures, grievance redress mechanism, specific measures for vulnerable group and income rehabilitation assistance. Since independence, Japan has been a trusted friend of Bangladesh. In the development of Bangladesh, role of Japan is enormous. Matarbari project is so far the single largest ODA funding project of JICA. Consultancy services contract was signed on 7 January 2015. Kickoff meeting with the consultant MJVC. Opening of bid for the pre-qualification of EPC contractor. Technical bid opening for preparatory work. Bid opening for Matarbari 132 by 33 kV substation. Bid opening for Matarbari 132 kV line. Financial bid opening for preparatory work. On 14th February 2016, contract was signed for preparatory work. Issuing of bid documents for EPC contract. Pre-bid meeting for EPC contract. Bid receive for EPC contract. Site visit by high power delegation.
Site visit by Parliamentary Standing Committee. Site visit by Secretary, Power Division. JICA Appraisal Mission at ERD. Evaluation Committee Meeting for EPC Contract. Site visit by High Power Delegation. Considering Matarbari as a flagship project, Government of Bangladesh is monitoring the project activities closely. Visit of High Power Delegation from both the Government of Bangladesh and Japan is very common. Originally, the project site was marshy land, generally used for salt and shrimp cultivation depending on seasonal variation. The contractor verified the control points using the data provided by the engineer. Once verified, configuration adjustments were done on the instruments. The contractor distributed the coordinates to all the benchmark control points on site. The contractor mobilized major land construction equipment at site. The contractor's accommodation and office was positioned inside the side boundary, which is strictly secured. The security cards were allocated at every strategic point and for patrolling all over the site regularly. Around 40 numbers of staff, including foreigners and local staff, were working in the office regularly. The accommodation was fully equipped with modern facilities, including kitchen. Dining. Gym. Beds. At the beginning, the contractor started preparing the site for work. Shipping containers were transformed into site office and equipped with proper ventilation and utilities. This is a graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. 
The first stage photos were taken on 25th March 2016. The temporary landing jetty was built by the contractor on the southeast side of the project. This allowed project personnel to an easy access to the site from the river. The contractor made the plan for environmental monitoring to determine the impact of construction activities to the project. The detailed environmental assessment was carried out for the project area by specialized environmental monitoring subcontractor prior to commencement of the project. The environmental monitoring management plan was established based on the result of assessment. This monitoring was carried out regularly based on approved monitoring plan. The findings were reported accordingly. Prior to commencement of the temporary channel dredging, the contractor dredged the monitoring pocket near temporary channel dredging area. The plan was to monitor and investigate the actual transition of offshore wave, current and suspended solid. During the dredging operations, positioning of dredger and dredging point was guided with GPS system. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The second stage photos were taken on 5th September 2016. After completion of the dredging of monitoring pocket, the contractor started monitoring of wave, current and suspended solid at monitoring pocket. The monitoring data was recorded by acoustic Doppler current profiler, a hydroacoustic current meter similar to a sonar, attempting to measure water current, velocities over a depth range using the Doppler effect of sound waves scattered back from particles within the water column. The instrument was installed on the seabed by divers and regularly recovered and installed to collect the recorded data. After processing, the result was reported immediately. The broad objectives of consulting services are to design and prepare specification, preparation of bid documents and assist in EPC selection, construction, supervision and monitoring of environmental issues up to defect liability period. The contractor constructed mainly three kinds of the temporary access bunds on the site. The first is sand bund. The sand bund was constructed for the access of construction machinery 
and provided stable foundations for dredged material discharging pipeline. A total of 6,420 meters sand bund was constructed. The second is sand bund with geotube. The sand bund with geotube was the replacement for existing access linkage between Matarbari and Dholghata village. A total of 1,630 meters geotube bund was constructed. The last is clay bund. The clay bund was installed to contain and prevent spread out of dredged material at stockpile and disposal area. A total of 7,050 meters clay bund was constructed. All the axes were maintained properly. The contractor used self-propelled cutter suction dredger Cassiopeia 5 for this temporary channel dredging. Cassiopeia 5 is a stationary dredger which uses an underwater ladder with cutter head to loosen the material to be dredged. During dredging, Cassiopeia 5 makes a pivoting movement around the main spot. This movement is initiated by pulling the anchor wire connected to the cutter ladder. By hoisting and feeding opposite anchor winches, the cutter head follows the ladder depth and pivot the main body around the working spot. All the movements and positioning are accurately controlled by GPS system. The temporary channel was approximately 2.8 kilometers long and 100 meters wide and depth was up to 7 meters MSL. Dredging operation was commenced in the temporary channel on 27th November 2016 and completed on 21st February 2017. Total dredged volume was approximately 2.4 million cubic meters. The dredged materials were discharged into two different dumping areas. The sandy materials were dumped into stockpile area and silty on clay materials were dumped into disposal area. The distance from dredging point to the discharging point was approximately 4 kilometers. The mean velocity of hydraulically pumped dredged material was 5 to 7 meters per second. The time elapsed from dredging point to discharging point was approximately 10 to 18 minutes. Total stockpile volume was 14,36,700 cubic meters with settlement volume. In the stockpile area, suitable and reusable materials were stockpiled and leveled by land equipment. The quality monitoring tests were conducted to monitor the quality of dredged materials. Material samples were taken at the discharging point every hour for pan flock test and two times in a day for sieve test. The results of material tests were recorded, monitored and reported accordingly.
Japan International Cooperation Agency is providing financial assistance to Matarbari Ultra Super Critical Coal Fired Power Project. For the successful implementation of Matarbari project, Jaika Dhaka office is providing its all-out support and cooperation. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The third stage photos were taken on 19th January 2017. The three-storied permanent site office building for the employer and the engineer was designed and constructed by contractor. The building is located at southeast side of the project site, nearby temporary jetty. The total office area is approximately 250 square meters. The building is supported by board concrete pile under the ground and the structure is built of reinforced concrete. On the rooftop, symbolic arbor was constructed and has panoramic view of sight.
CPG CBL is an enterprise of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Secretary, Power Division is the Chairman of CPG CBL Board. This is the graphical presentation of the structures constructed by the contractor. The fourth stage photos were taken on 3rd March 2017. After completion of site operations, the contractor demobilized the construction equipment, materials and facilities. With the departure of Kata Suction Dredger Cassiopeia 5, completion of the temporary channel dredging comes to an end. Actual time schedule of the project, mobilization and demobilization Temporary buns, temporary landing jetty, dredging of monitoring pocket, temporary channel dredging, stockpiling of segregated dredged material, site offers for the employer and the engineer handover of the project. Matarbari Ultra Supercritical Coal Fired Power Project is a fast track flagship project of Bangladesh. This is an integrated project which includes construction of power plant, port, transmission line, grid substation, road, bridge, rural electrification, and township. For the first time in South Asia, Bangladesh is going to use ultra supercritical technology for the coal-fired power plant at Matarbari. The outcome of this technology is higher efficiency with lower emission. In future, Matarbari will be considered as nucleus of the power sector of Bangladesh. From here, imported coal is expected to be transshipped to other parts of the country. In short, Matarbari will be the gateway for other future projects. <laughs>